Hello Scorpio, welcome to our timeless tarot to go. So here's our our short midday break and um, looking at the crystal ball. First I saw a person in jubilation <laughs> and then I saw a veil and a light is shining through this veil and behind the veil is an angel. What I saw in this other crystal ball is the cosmos, the universe, the void. So it's uh, what I feel right now is uh, there is cause for joy because it seems that you are going to receive guidance from the angels and you will learn something about the spirit realm today. Okay, something new. Something new from the spirit realm. So you will be receiving a new lesson. A new lesson for today okay well that's beautiful I mean every day there is an opportunity for us to learn something especially if it is something about our spiritual journey then it's really a very beautiful gift so if this resonates with you if today there is a sort of like an aha moment where you discovered something new about spiritual life don't forget to say thank you don't forget to say thank you to the spirit thank you to your angels okay and your guides so yeah for some of you you will receive a certain lesson about spiritual life okay beautiful well let's now try to see what is your main energy for today Scorpio. Oh, if, if you are already a constant watcher of the channel, you will notice that the main theme usually of our readings is something to do with spiritual journey, something to do with your self-development, -develop, self-care, uh, always trying to be better. Okay, so it's more of yeah, self-development. Well, let's try to see what is your main energy for today. Okay, you have the Three of Wands. So for some of you, you are expecting somebody to arrive. It can be somebody from another place, okay, from abroad, no? Uh, you're expecting them to arrive. For some of you, you are preparing on a journey and you are waiting for uh, the transport that will bring you to that other place, okay. For some of you, uh, especially those who resonate with this one, with the crystal balls you are just beginning a another journey into the spiritual realm in order to receive a new lesson from the divine okay so take and whatever in the three resonates with you right now but right now you are in the waiting in the waiting energy you are waiting right now for a journey and for something to arrive or for someone to arrive okay so if it resonates with you if you are expecting somebody from abroad about to arrive or you are waiting for a journey abroad also physically then maybe there's something here for you now death so it means there is a closing of a chapter you see here uh, you're developing roots and you're spreading your arms so it's like uh, whatever this closing of the chapter is it will allow you to grow more roots you no know? maybe get in touch with the inner realm Somehow the roots are, for right now, what I'm, I'm thinking if, is you will grow. It's The roots are growing and it's a growth inwards. So it's a growth into your inner life. At the same time, it will manifest also to the growth with your uh, growth externally. So uh, it's like that also when you look at it, when the trees develop more roots below, they will develop more branches in the exterior world since so it's the same for us also the deeper the more growth we have in our inner life the more it will manifest in our exterior life the more you will blossom the more you will touch other lives the more people will get inspired by you the more people will appreciate you you will be blooming okay and uh, when you see here there are a lot of glitters there so yeah it's like uh you are receiving graces or uh, energies from 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 the inner world and it's manifesting in your exterior world now i see here uh, this is death no so it's a closing of a chapter 
and a new chapter is beginning. Even the Three of Wands symbolizes a new chapter beginning. So yeah, I guess it somehow resonates with this one. You're receiving a new lesson in from the spirit realm. Okay. And we have here the King of Swords. No? Somebody who's very intelligent. You see here there's a light on his crown chakra. So he's being guided by the universe and he's studying. He's ho holding a certain document, you know, maybe a contract with the universe. And he's holding a sword. It's as if he's having a sort of like, yeah, he just finished. It's like a diploma <laughs> because he just came out of a labyrinth. So he just finished a chapter and is beginning a new one because he just graduated. When a person graduates, you no, know, he's ready for a new career. So for some of you, you've just graduated as from a certain difficulty, which can be symbolized by the labyrinth, and you're now opening a new chapter. For some of you, you will be studying again, and that is the new lessons that you will be receiving from the universe. For some of you, you will be receiving new instruction, like going on a, a special mission or a special voyage, like the Three of Wands here. You are receiving instructions from the universe. Okay. So whatever it is, it will make you happy in jubilation. At the same time, it is something that will make you grow. Okay. Uh, enlightenment. The, the light that passes through the, the, the curtain or the veil can symbolize also enlightenment. And here you see, you will be removing all your masks. This person no longer has any masks. And the true person that he is or the... The, the person that you will be is what you truly are. You see here, there's still no face at this present time because you're in the process of the, the discovering who you are truly meant to be. And I think it is related to this one. There will be new lessons and then you will understand yourself even more. But the beautiful thing about it is you finally remove the masks. And yeah, you are no longer afraid to be who you truly are. And it's, I think, uh, a product of this closing of this new chapter. And uh, yeah, you see here the sword. There are two. This is are the, the these are the two of swords. Uh, it's as if she's discerning, no, which mask to wear. It's uh, for me. It can also symbolize that she is discerning who she truly is, and she is discovering who your true self. The first thing that came to my mind is not to wear any of these masks, but to identify who they truly are. It's like she removed a mask, no? Uh, yeah. But somehow, the second time now that I look at it, it can be that she's deciding who she truly is. Uh, yeah. Who she truly is. Deciding who she truly is. Whether she will continue to wear a mask or she will be her true self. Well. Take it if it resonates with you right now. If you are having the courage already to be who you truly are or who you are meant to be. You are receiving a lesson right now from the universe. Very much compatible with what we found in the crystal ball. Uh, the wise one is the teacher and you are the student. Okay. And as the closing of the chapter, well... It's time for you to lay down. This is the Ten of Wands. You're getting out of the tunnel already. And when you get out of the tunnel, you can lay down already the burdens. So, and there will be celebration. We have here the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups can also symbolize the gift that you will be receiving from the universe. And you will be setting out on the adventure, on an adventure with, which is the Knight of Cups. I feel that for some of you, it is related to a relationship. A new relationship, a yeah, celebration of a new relationship or a renewed relationship, okay? And you will be setting out on a new adventure, a new chapter in your relationships. And for some of you, yeah, it's like discovering a new treasure from the field. Uh, it's discovering a new gift from the universe. We have here the Queen of Pentacles. And finally, the Seven of Swords. Uh, be careful. Be careful of people who might want to stab you on the back. Uh, so just be careful on whom to trust. Uh, don't entrust immediately everything. Um, you know how it is. There are certain things that you value. Well, keep it to yourself. And discern who are the people you should trust. 
there might be a danger of somebody wanting to stab you in the back or do something to maybe uh, to your detriment okay uh, fly above fly above the free fly above this this uh, low level interactions no do not allow do not go down and and fly above this kind of energy uh, live with integrity do not dance with them okay fly above the free we have here the six of swords no so you move away from from this turmoil yeah i think it's the closing of the chapter can be also this can yeah just be careful with this one and uh, do not interact with them but whatever it is i think you will soar from that one and it will not affect you people might start to do certain things but it will not reach you because you are yeah soaring right now nobody will stop your flight at this moment okay now scorpio let's try to end this reading with some oracle cards yeah. it's quite a unique reading right now so just take what resonates with you at this time okay for our oracle cards advice from the universe okay the advice is the world home sweet home okay your home and family matters require your attention and tender loving care okay so the universe is saying spend more time with the family maybe you are too or too concerned with a lot of things too preoccupied too preoccupied with so many things maybe you are neglecting already your family so spend uh yeah spend more time dedicate more time to your family give attention to them and give them tender loving care supernova an aspect of your personality ego self must die to make way for a new shiny star to be born uh-huh okay i think it is related to this one and to the death death is uh yeah something has to die in your aspect maybe something that is uh, maybe the mask that you've been wearing uh, finally you will have to be more true to yourself so uh, make way for a new shiny star to be born supernova okay allow yourself to explode okay allow yourself to shine no oh, see with the transformation you're undergoing you know the new chapter uh, the new lessons you are receiving from the universe it will allow you to shine and don't be afraid to be who you truly are i think what will be dying are the masks that you used to wear in the past okay so an aspect of your personality your ego self must die okay so that part of you may usually we wear the mask in order to please people around us no uh yeah if it dies then we are no longer afraid to be who our truly self our true self are uh the one that is uh, not perfect the one that has who you are able to accept already both your good and your not so good side and you can laugh on it and work on it you can accept okay i need to work on this and then you can grow even more so there's a an element also of humility there uh, an element also of honesty to oneself that there are certain aspects you need to change well scorpio i hope that this has been beneficial for you i uh thank you for all the likes and the comments that you've given to the channel thank you for subscribing i hope to see you again next time until that time may god continue to bless your ways